All right, next what I want to do is I want to introduce you to the concept of working with multiple style sheets. What we can do is we can link our HTML document to multiple style sheets to control the presentation of our layout on various devices. And really the purpose of this lesson is just to make sure that we're all on the same page. What I'm going to show you isn't anything new or quite frankly, even that groundbreaking. But again, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. And I also want to remind you that our HTML document, of course, is going to contain the raw structural content for our layout. And it's the CSS that controls the dress up of the layout, the presentation of the layout. So here's what I'm going to do to, to sort of describe exactly how this is going to work. I'm going to head into our project files folder, which I hope you've gone and downloaded. Inside the project files folder, I've gone and created a subdirectory called multiple style sheets, screen and print. Go ahead and pop into that guy. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to open up index.html. Now open up this guy both inside your web browser and also inside your coding application as well. Okay, so as far as the coding application is concerned, it doesn't really matter which coding program you use. I'm using a program here called Coda, and I'll just zoom in a little bit on my code here. Really nothing too spectacular here. And then if I flip over to my web browser, I'm running Firefox. This is what the page looks like. Very, very simple page. Okay, now what we can do here is we can control how this page is going to be presented on various devices. This is how the page looks on screen. I can also control how this guy looks if we were to print him out. Now, what I can do by default here is I can take a look at the, the plain vanilla print version of this document by choosing file print inside whatever web browser you're running. Now, likely you're going to have a different setup than I have. Hopefully you have some kind of a print preview that you can take a look at, or maybe you'll need to print this guy off as a PDF. I have no idea, but I'm going to use my little preview option here, at least on the Mac. And what I'm going to wind up getting is a preview of how this document would look if I were to print them right now. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty plain vanilla. What the document wants to do is he wants to try and print everything that we see inside the web browser. Okay, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head over to my coding application. Notice towards the top of my index.html file, we have a link to a CSS file called screen.css. And you'll find this guy all the way back down inside your multiple style sheets screen and print folder. This guy right here. You can go ahead and double click on him if you want to open him up inside your coding application. This is what he looks like. Okay. Now notice that I put a little note here. These rules are only going to apply when the layout is viewed on a screen. What I want to do is I want to introduce a second style sheet to control how our HTML is going to be printed or display when it's printed. So here's how we're going to pull it off. I'm going to head back to my index.html file. Rather than a single reference to a single CSS file, I'm going to make a reference to two CSS files. So this code that we have here inside the head area of our HTML document, you can actually get rid of it. And here's what I'm going to type in instead, open angle bracket link, followed by a space and then rel equals style sheet in quotes there, of course. And then I'm going to follow that by a space and then type equals and then in quotes text slash CSS. Okay. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up to my my screen dot CSS file. So I'm going to go href equals and then in quotes the name of the style sheet that I want to connect up to. Okay, and everything's on the inside the same directory. So I don't need to put any forward slashes or anything like that. Just screen dot CSS for our quick example. Now here's the catcher. What I want to do is I want to determine what media what device this style sheet is going to apply to. So I've typed in media. And then what I'll do is I'll go equals and then in quotes screen. All right. And then I'm going to close my angle bracket. And what that'll do is that will connect us back up to that first external style sheet screen dot CSS, which we already were connected up to. But now it's only going to apply when the HTML document is being viewed on screen. Let's now take this code that we've gone and inserted here and copy it. Controller command C 
and paste it just beneath. And let's change our reference here from screen.css now to print. Dot CSS. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my media from screen to, you guessed it, print. Okay, great. Go ahead and save your document, Controller Command S. And by the way, if you want, back inside our project files folder, sure enough, we have print.css. Go ahead and double click on this guy to open them up inside your coding application. And as you can see, by and large, this guy is empty. There's not a whole lot of action. There's rules, but there's no properties for these rules. And notice the text I added in at the top here. These rules only apply when the layout is printed. So let's now head back to our web browser and refresh because we've made some changes. You can refresh by hitting controller command R on your keyboard. And now let's go and print once again, controller command P from your keyboard. And again, hopefully you have some kind of a print preview that you can make use of. So this is now what I have inside my print preview. As you can see, the original CSS, the original formatting is no longer applying to this document. Okay, now let's go and make some changes inside our print external style sheet. So in other words, we can control exactly how we want this document to print. I'm going to head all the way back to my coding application, all the way back to print.css. And let's make a few changes. I'm going to head to the header rule. You'll see this guy around line six, if you happen to have line numbers available inside your coding application. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set a width on this guy. I'm not going to use a pixel width or a percentage width. I'm going to use a print width, two and a quarter inches, 2.25 IN followed by a semicolon. Let's set a background on this guy, background full colon space, and I'll go RGB. I'm going to use red, green, and blue values here. And I'm just going to go 0, 0, 0 for this fella, followed by a semicolon. Let's also go and throw on some padding as well. And I'm going to use 5 pixels above and below and 0 for left and right. And finally, let's do some margin as well, margin zero and auto. That should center this guy for us. Okay, now, as a matter of fact, there's a bunch of things that I want to do inside our print style sheet. I'm going to now go after the logo graphic. So look for logo IMG around line eight inside your print CSS file. I'm going to set this guy's margin left to 10 pixels. There we are. And the nav bar, the navigation menu, which appears right across the top of the screen inside the screen version of our layout, I'm going to set him to simply not display inside our printed version. So this is kind of a cool property that we can use, display none. It's literally like a light switch. We're basically turning the display of this element off. Okay, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to grab this property and copy them because we're going to reuse them in a couple of different places. We have the search field, input.search, a little, a little further down. Go ahead and paste that into his curly brackets. And I'm also going to drop this into the section container image, which is found way down on line 17. Go ahead and paste them in there as well. Finally, let's also paste in our display none into the footer down on line 21 right in there. Okay, just a few more things that I want to do here. I'm going to go after my heading one, my H1 on line 18. Go ahead and drop your cursor inside him. Let's change his text alignment. I'm going to go text align, full colon space center. There we are, followed by a semicolon and then some margin. I'm going to go margin, full colon, space. I'm going to go 50 pixels, so that's the margin on top. Zero for the margin on the right, minus 10 pixels for the margin below or the space below, and then zero for the margin on the left-hand side. Okay, perfect. One more thing that I want to do, and that is our paragraph found just beneath the H1 on line 19. Let's go and set this guy's line height. So this is the amount of space between the lines of text otherwise known as a letting in the print world, line height, full colon, space, and let's go 150% 
like so. Okay, great, good stuff. Go ahead and save up your work. Head all the way back to your browser. Now make sure to refresh your browser once again because we may have made some changes. We wanna make sure that we're gonna see the most current version of our layout. And go ahead and head into your print screen. So once again, file print or control or command P is just fine. And once again, into your particular browser's preview. Again, you may have to create a PDF here or something like this. This is what we wind up with now with the formatting that you and I have created. So you'll notice, for instance, the navigation menu across the top is gone. We now have some formatting there on the heading ones and also on the paragraph. So a much more printer friendly version of our document. Now, the point behind this exercise, this tutorial, hasn't been to show you how to create a very lovely print version of your document. Really, it's more about having two different external style sheets controlling the display of our document, our HTML document, depending on the device that's being used to view the HTML document. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you've learned a little bit here so far. Now we want to take this idea of multiple style sheets and go even further with it.